This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hey everybody, today I'm going to be giving you a tour of my closet and showing you some of my favorite clothes and how I style them. Let's do it. say I have a pretty interesting way of organizing my closet. First off, we have my least worn, which is actually my onesies. So we have all my onesies hanging up, really for no reason other than the fact that I don't want to forget that I own them. And then after that, we have some of my super cute favorite club going out dresses. I love these so much. I have my strapless dresses. I have a lot of basics in my closet. That's because I have a lot of unique shoes, and I have some unique pants and skirts, and it's just nice to have a variety. Some long sleeve dresses. This I wore literally once to the Magic Castle. Only members can go there, but I got it. <laughs> then we have my neons that I really rarely wear. These are my two sets that I have. So we have a snake print set and we have a zebra set that I just got from Depop. Shout out. Thoroughly enjoy buying other people's clothes, to be honest. Ooh. And now we have <laughs> my black section. Every color section is organized by shirt length because that's very important depending on my mood and the weather. We have bodysuits, you know, go to wear pants or skirts over. I just got this one, very, very proud of them. <laughs> we have my tank tops. This one's actually a one piece, but I didn't, I didn't like it that much, so. And here we have all of my black t-shirts. Actually, I would say my favorite one is the power line. Disney shirt from the Goofy movie. A good movie, a good movie. And then of course I need at least one basic. All of these are cut by me because I have a short torso and I like the style. These are all of my off the shoulder shirts. I really like this one. This one I've worn quite a bit. I got this one from my friend Dana. Shout out to Dana, love her. I love a good shoulder show. Like you put a little shimmer on your shoulder too and it just like, Oh, I forgot, I forgot about this one. This one, like my fancier off the shoulder. Look, it has a little, a little heart on the back. It's so cute, and a little rose in the front that I can pair with like red shoes and it won't look weird. Oh, love it. Okay, and now we have my long sleeve shirt. It's pretty good for any occasion. This is like a fancier basic shirt, like meet the parents type. Uh. And these two, this shirt I've had for a while. I love putting this under, you know, some dresses, some t-shirts, some tank tops for like a 2000s look. But I just recently got into turtlenecks. I never thought I'd be into turtlenecks, but this one is really, is a low turtleneck. It has some fuzzies on it because I put a sweater over it. And then we have my hoodies. This one was old merch. I don't sell this anymore, but wig snatch. This my friend actually made. Shout out to Isaac Paleo. Um, and then everyone needs just like a ginormous hoodie, you know, that you can either wear on like a lazy day or you can put with heels and guess what? You're like casual, but cool. Comfy at the club, except for your feet. Everyone needs a shirt that lets everyone know that they're vegan. This one I also did cut myself. Now we have my yellow section. Good basic. I really got into yellow this past summer, I guess. I don't know. I've always been just like a black or white or pink type of person, but yellow and blue and kind of green I got into. Like, it's weird. It's weird. This one I've actually had for a while. I love wearing it. Put over a bikini, going out to the beach, whatever. Breaks up the look. Ooh, this hoodie is very new. It is from shopbabes.com. This is a full fit. I have pants that go with it. Don't really know what shoes to wear with it yet, but I love this company. I love this company so much. Please look them up. Oh, of course we have my sweaters. Would you say this is gold? I think it's gold, because this is yellow. Okay, and now we have our grays. 
This one, I really just wore for some acting stuff. I don't really like this shirt that much, but it's nice to have. Doesn't show too much stomach, you know? This is my all-time favorite crop sweater. It's an old Tommy shirt. I literally will wear this all the time. This is like my go-to travel crop sweatshirt. And it's comfy, and the arms are super long, and I love Ariana grande in my sleeves. <laughs> oh, and I'm super bummed about this. This was like my grandma Thanksgiving shirt, and it has this spot on it. I don't even know where it came from. Hmm. Now we have our greens. I have this sports sports shirt that I wear sometimes, the built-in bra. Phenomenal. Um, this shirt I only got for, I think it was the Teen Choice Awards that I went to. This shirt I actually got from my friend. I love, I don't know if anyone else has friends or you do this yourselves, but when you just post on your story that you're getting rid of some of your clothes and your friends can be like, oh, I want this one. Happened to me. Happened to me a couple times. Oh my gosh, I got my blues. I have Rick and Morty. Everyone needs a good Target tee, you know? And now about our sponsor. Skillshare is by far my favorite learning platform with thousands of inspiring classes for creative people like me. Skillshare is a great place to explore new skills, deepen your passions, and inspire new ideas. With class topics including illustration, graphic design, photography, video, music, and more, there really is something for everyone. Plus, so many classes are taught by exciting, knowledgeable people who want you to succeed. The two classes I've started taking are all about photography and setting up great shots. My favorite class so far was created by Rachel Galetta and Dan Daniel Inskeep on DIY product photography, which will only help me get better at photographing my Etsy accessories. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Thank you, Skillshare. Now back to the video. These sweatshirts, I realized while I was trying my clothes on that I don't wear any of these, but they're great for certain occasions, okay? Both of these are Disney. I love Disney. I'm a huge Disney fan. Um, however, I don't actively show that to people. So when I go to the park, I, I really show it. To infinity and beyond, like look at this. Oh my god. More merch of my own. I also don't sell these anymore, so a flying wig. If I brought any of this merch back, would you get it? Comment down below. I will know if you tell me. Moving on, I have my cropped white sweater. I don't know what to call these sweaters. Basic, but love it. Gotta have some basics. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, this one too. Oh, big favorite. This was an impulse buy at Urban Outfitters in downtown LA. I asked someone to take this off a mannequin and it was the last one left and they worked really hard to take it off the mannequin. And I was like, that's kind of expensive. But they were like, oh, do you want me to put it back on? And I was like, no, I, I guess I'll get it. <laughs> this was also an impulse buy at Walmart. So you know, don't sleep on Walmart with their basics. But this I found is good. I, I haven't wore it for the exact shirt um, that it is, but layering underneath things. It's a cute little, little turtleneck. It's so stretchy. Like, look at this. This is like a one size fits all, I swear. Look at this. I have my different t-shirts. This is also merch that I don't sell anymore. Um, but I love my Titanic shirt. Love movies, love the Titanic. I love wearing this with skirts. You know, you like dress it down a little bit. My fave. This, I also have this in black. <laughs> so I like buying multiple colors of the same shirt because I love them so much. This, this shirt was so good for going out, which I haven't done that in a while, but I like reminiscing. Um, this is also a favorite. I'm pretty sure I got this like online somewhere. It's like a little cottage core-ish, a little bit. So cute and it like ties in the back. Then I have the basic tank tops, you know, you gotta layer them or wear them for what they are. Maybe with some fun pants. This was also given to me by a friend, but these straps were really like close together and I didn't really like that. So I found it easy enough just to cut the bottom of them and sew them a little further apart. So they lay like more early 2000s and less 12 years old-ish. And then we have my Mickey sweater. This actually, I think someone else cropped this. Fun fact, it wasn't me this time, but another favorite. Look at him, look at little Mickey, so cute. I love when you can't see my hands when I wear sweaters. <laughs> oh my gosh, another new favorite. This is an off the shoulder shirt. I got this from Depop as well. I just, I'm having so much fun. I just discovered Depop and it's fantastic. Now I have all my pinks. 
I got this fun new sweater that is also off the shoulder that I got from Depop. But I haven't figured out how to style it. Like, I don't know what to wear it with. I Like, I can wear it with just jeans, but I don't know. I feel like it deserves more than that. If anyone has ideas, let me know. Ooh, everything is cropped. Literally everything, everything I own is cropped, unless it's really like large. This says, let's cry together. And I just, I think everyone should cry together. Huge advocate. <laughs> oh wait, where did I get this from? Oh my gosh, this is a really good company I got this from too. Adorned by Chi, that's it. Love them. Now I have my reds when I went through my red phase. Good amount of beautiful red shoes. These, a top fave. Everyone needs just a good pair of red heels. Everyone. Everyone. We have my tanks. We have my off the shoulder shirts, normal stuff. This was actually given to me by someone who was friends with someone who worked for Warner Brothers. It's a fun fact for you. So it's authentic. That's what I want everyone to know. It's authentic. This was given to me at the last convention we were at. It was from the Boohoo lounge that they had set up. I, again, I haven't been able to really wear this shirt, but it looks really nice. Maybe because it's off the shoulder and I love that, but. And then we have, oh my gosh, <laughs> some fun shirts. Love Nickelodeon. <laughs> and then we have um, a very large hoodie that I also love to pair with my red heels because it looks so good. I look a little bit like a ketchup bottle, but I like it. And then the rest of these are shirts that I do not wear. Don't look at those. Don't look at those. And that's, um, that's it. Except for some of my favorite possessions, my jackets. Believe it or not, I have gotten rid of some things in the span of the last couple of years. The styles here range a lot. Um, the bottom ones I don't wear as much. I made this um, for my sponsored video with Netflix. That video is uh, is about Julie and the Phantoms. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. My friend Charlie's in it. But some of my all-time favorites are actually my fuzzy jackets. These I literally used to wear every single time I would leave my house in like a dress or like a nicer outfit or something. Yeah, we have pinks, we have red, and then we have black. And these go with all of the different shoes that I own. So it worked out pretty well. And one of my newest favorite things is this. I found this designer online. Um, his name is Terrence Williams, I believe, and uh, he handmade this. And then we also have my newest favorite things, and that is my cow print hat and bag, and I also have a matching skirt with it. Also from Depop. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, I also have um, a Powerline backpack that I got a very long time ago and I've never used it, but I needed to buy it just so that I could have it. Oh my gosh, wait, I just remembered. These are some of my bags. <laughs> Cute, children's section. I wish I had the energy to wear all of my favorite outfits you know, during this time in the world, but I don't. So this video was actually so much fun to film and to show you all my favorite outfits and show off my closet because I haven't been able to really touch it for like a year now. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you like me, make sure to click the subscribe button down below. I post videos every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.